Welcome to Fisher, guys. I'm Charles. In today's episode, we're going to do a homemade mango salsa. Thank you to my daughter, Jana, at by Jana's Bakery. I got, I stole her recipe, and we're going to pair it up and put it over fresh grouper fillets, pan fried, in the range behind me. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, this particular salsa recipe tasted outstanding when I had it at her house and I said I have to do this but what what made it so special she particularly emphasized to me use fire roasted tomatoes I got these at Walmart what a nice you can do it in the oven yourself if you're uh, if you know what you're doing otherwise buy it and these are and they're organic to boot so I think you guys are going to enjoy this we have all the uh, ingredients here everything will be listed in the links below the ingredients and the step-by-step -step instructions how to make this okay in this recipe we just add everything in I pre chopped just a half of an onion I cut it up a little bit to get it started We've got fresh cilantro. Sliced jalapenos. Some ground cumin. Salt. Chopped up garlic. And this is the juice of two fresh limes. Can't have a Spanish dish without limes. Now, the fire roasted tomatoes. Let's get all that goodness out. We're using two 14 ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes. We're going to mix this up a little bit, then I'm going to add the mango. And all you want to do with this is pulse it. You don't want to puree this, you just want to pulse it to get just the right consistency for salsa. Everybody's had salsa, so you know uh, you don't want it to be a puree. You want it to be just a little bit chunky. So just a quick pulse. Take a look. Oh yeah, it's getting, oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. This is all you have to do. It's a very quick recipe for salsa. Now we'll add our mangoes. I like a fruit salsa over fish. I think it tastes absolutely delicious. So we'll pulse this too. All right, we wanna have little pieces of mango which we do. Beautiful. Just the right consistency. All right, we're going to empty this out into our bowl. And this is exactly what you want. Ideally, it's great to let it rest in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. It'll solidify. But this is what you want for salsa. Look at that beautiful pieces of mango. It's going to add a nice sweetness to this. So now we'll get ready to go to the range and on the cooktop and we'll pan fry the grouper fillets when they're ready lay them out spread it with this and five star meal coming up 
Okay, we're ready to prepare our grouper fillets or any other fillet that you guys want to use with this. I think it'll pair up excellent with any kind of good white meat fish. These are two nice half inch thick, three quarter inch thick grouper fillets. We're going to bathe them in oil. Give I don't normally use gloves when I'm handling my meats. So you want to coat it with oil, good olive oil, extra virgin. And then we're going to put, season it with salt and pepper. And again, as I always say in my videos, season it to taste. Whatever you guys like, you got to do it according to your palate. This is how I like my fish. We're going to sear it on a really hot griddle on a stainless steel uh, pan. Sear it. Then we'll flip them over, sear the other side, let it cook till it rises. And we're uh, in store for a fabulous meal. All right, we've got our pan heating up. We're going to get it nice and hot. And we're going to put these seasoned fillets right in there. I believe she's ready. We'll just let them sizzle up a little bit. As soon as these things sear correctly and completely, they'll lift right off. You won't have to worry about peeling your meat and tearing it apart. Let it cook for a little bit. They have lifted up. Oh yeah. All right, we are ready now. These are cooked. Okay, the time has come. Beautiful filet. We're gonna try a piece. Some nice salsa. looks delicious and smells just a beautiful aroma from this uh, cooked fish and the uh, mango salsa so we're ready to dive in well the moment of truth has come fish is cooked just perfect Nice crust from the sear, cooked perfect throughout. This mango, these chunks, little chunks of mango, really sweeten up and offset the bite of the jalapeno. I love this. Absolutely love this. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This fish 
It's so important to cook it thoroughly on the uh, stove on high heat to sear it. It'll lift up, flip it, and cook it long enough. Lower your heat down. Cook it long enough to not overcook it inside, and it's still nice and juicy in there. This mango has such a sweet taste. Man, I love it. I can't stop eating it. Very tasty. This recipe that I'll provide in the links below will make 32 ounces of salsa. Now you can add pineapple. I like a good citrus fruit. The mango was quite a bit sweeter than a pineapple, so that's why I chose mango. But you guys can, you know, uh, let your minds travel there. You can put whatever you want to sweeten it up. I don't particularly want a hot salsa, hot tasting, spicy hot with the jalapenos. I've got, I bought them at Walmart, sliced, so, and they were all uh, uh, seeded out and everything. Everything was clean, and I didn't put any of their juices. I just grabbed the jalapenos, the slices, and put about a couple of tablespoons. If I didn't add the mango or a pineapple, some sweetener, it, you would have got a nice spicy bite out of your salsa. But over fish, my preference is sweet and it complements a nice white pink meat like a grouper or a snapper, a striped bass for that matter. A uh, walleye would go great with this. Just beautiful white meat, fruity salsa, man is over the top. So guys, I hope you learned something. This is a really cool recipe and I want to thank my daughter for that. Uh, she uh, gave me that good idea and I said, yep, that'll be our next video. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for uh, checking us out. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. We've got a lot more exciting ones coming down the pike. We're entering into the best time of the year, fall and winter, which I love it. A lot of outdoor stuff we'll be doing and uh, from fishing and hunting and uh, camping and backpacking. And with all the different uh, foods, I'll show you the dehydrated foods that we made and how well they do in a camp environment. And if you guys are, uh, have any questions or uh, comments, leave them. I answer and address every comment. And again, guys, I will see you on the next one, and thank you.